cool man. <laughs> It lit five minutes ago, no problem. <laughs> While we're watching, who wants uh, SPG stickers? Okay. I think he's going to say that. I still want to get it. Hang in there, man. You're going to get it. Yeah, I got a lot of fucking hands. <laughs> It won't do anything fun for like 10 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's already doing like something. Heat up. Is it hot over that hole? Good luck to fire. No, I would not get like within like three feet of your carrier. You probably saw steam. like a bike tire it's nothing crazy this is this is built in germany and it's it's four boats usually hence why it just has like one shaft out point um because you just put a propeller on it and this is a um directional piston assembly so with the servo you can actually make it go forward or in reverse and then neutrals in the middle it's just out to a axial scx10 transmission and that's it GCM uh, transfer case in the middle. Front motor mount. Front motor mount, front motor mount yeah. Now, would it cut the time in half if you were to pre-boil water? Uh, yeah, I guess it, you could. Yeah. It's taking so long because there's so many people looking at it. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, performance yeah. anxiety. Like You're not watching water boil. Yeah. 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 never boils. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, only, it's not even at, like, one bar yet, so it'll at least be 10 minutes. In California, <laughs> <laughs> it was it was super quick. It was like two minutes. Water's already ninety degrees. <laughs> you do have to put like uh, distilled water in it because the it's it'll calcify really easily inside and wreck the whole thing. It's gonna really breathe on it. So how long did it take you to build? A year. A year. And There's not much. It's so stupid. There's not much to this part. Like the mechanical aspect of it is really easy. Just flywheel, drive shaft. Transmission done. It's all it's all this stuff that took the longest because I had to hand drive all these rivets. <laughs> so, and did you build it for a specific event? Yeah, just for Axial Fest. Yeah, I wanted to show what you could do with basically off the shelf Axial stuff. And is it mimic a one to one? It does. It it doesn't exist anymore. He sold it off for parts. Because I guess he was borrowing the steam engine. Oh. But there's a guy, Kenny Hawk, he has this show on history called uh, Hawk Designs or something like that. I, I don't know too much about it, but when I saw it, I was like, I gotta build that. That's so dumb. <laughs> it doesn't, it serves no function. I gotta build it. But uh, yeah, he has a full size, it looks exactly like this. Full size uh, 6x6 JK. And was it built for show and shine or to compete? Ha! It's definitely a show and shine truck. <laughs> it's got no torque. Uh, it barely moves under its own uh, competition. Power. <laughs> it just it looks good when it's like puffing steam because there's there's steam outlets on both sides right here and it actually does puff steam out of there. And then there's a whistle that works. Yeah, it's just like could it could it work? And the answer is sort of. <laughs> uh, was there anything specific that was really challenging for you? Um, figuring out how not to melt styrene every time I fired it up was challenging. So the interior has a whole bunch of Nomex and uh, reflective tape in there just to cycle the heat back towards the engine. Um, but everything else was pretty straight ahead. I mean, these engines come pre-assembled. I just had to do a lot of my own plumbing to get the, uh, the steam to go where I wanted it to. That's it. 
runs on propane. Uh, it's a propane mix. It's not pure propane. It's got uh, something else in it. I can't remember what it is. Butane. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. I see there's a battery in there, but that's obviously... Just for the servos. Just for servo electronics. Yeah. Just for servos. There's three servos. There's one to control the amount of steam coming out of the engine, which then goes to the, the uh, piston assembly. Another servo for steering, and another <laughs> one for direction. So, like, you've actually got throttle to that servo there. And... Because it is dangerous, steam is dangerous. It's hot, it's under pressure. There is a blow off valve, so if you make too much pressure, it'll pop the valve so it doesn't explode and maim everybody. Melt stuff. Yeah. Melt faces. <laughs> Did you ever get a comment from the gentleman who had the one? Oh, yeah, totally. I got. Um, Kenny sent, I, I emailed him and I said, I'd like to build a, a tenth scale version, actually not scale, but whatever. Um, I want to build a small version of your truck and he was more than happy to send me all kinds of technical diagrams of how he plumbed everything, the interior, the exterior, uh, so I could count all the rivets, so it's the, the right number. Um, but yeah, he was really cool about it. He was really... Did you have to wrap all the piping yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I wrapped it all with the, like garden twine and just CA the ends so it didn't fray. Another bar and a half or so. That's good. Where's the leak coming from? No, the, uh, the front. Oh, yeah, okay. So that's, you can see the pistons moving there. It's still building up pressure. Honestly, you guys could do something else for five minutes if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Once it gets oh, we going, we just come back from our first run. So yeah, exactly. It should be just about ready to go by then. Will it continue to actually move? Go have a nap, eat a sandwich, drive home. <laughs> Propane butane mix. Yeah, yeah. How much you get out of the tank? Uh, Steve? Yeah. How much you get out of the tank? Yeah, 20 minute run. But 20 minute run at like one mile an hour. <laughs> okay, so that's popping, so. <laughs> Definitely feels like the childhood dreams, eh? <laughs> I thought my Jeep Druggy was cool. Not anymore. <laughs> Everybody stand back! Drive across the table. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
You'd never get any grip in the front. Tires are always wet. <laughs> it's a useless truck. The whistle makes it worth it. Thanks for sharing. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Good job. I wish the tires weren't so flat spotted. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, oh yeah. 